Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some advanced custom animations in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I got the idea to do this one because Arit's sister surprised us here and they drove all the way from Ontario to Vancouver, which is about 4,000 something kilometers. And her sister and her husband also have a YouTube channel called Product Patrol. And you guys may have heard me talk about them a lot. Well, anyways, they were doing a vlog about their whole journey here from Ontario to British Columbia. As you can see, it's many provinces over. And in their vlog video, they wanted to put like a little car animation thing with a map driving across Canada. And they were asking me how to do this. So I'll show you what I made here and then I will break it down and show you guys how I did this. And you can see here the car is moving. That is their Dodge Caravan in the white there, driving all the way across from Ontario to Vancouver. And then it stops right there. All right, so that animation was about 10 seconds long. All right, so here's how I did it. I used two images, so there's no video or anything happening. This is two images. Don't worry about this one. This one was a, a lesser quality map that I found, but I ended up using this one. So I've got a map here. So if you want to create something like this, get a map of wherever you're at. We're here in Canada. And I liked this one. It was super colorful, very vibrant, bright. This one was all pixelated. So that's why I had to switch over to this one, the current one that you see here. And then this one is their actual uh, white Dodge Caravan that they drive. So it would look cool driving all the way from here, Toronto to Vancouver. So what I did was I went on to Google, typed in Map of Canada, found this one, downloaded it as an image, and then for their car, I typed in the car. So it was a Dodge Caravan. And then as I was scrolling through, you want to find sort of the car that's in the right direction. So you can see that they're traveling from Toronto to Vancouver. So you want one that's facing the left hand side. You don't want one that's facing the right hand side. If we were going from Vancouver to Toronto, then I would find a vehicle that was faced to the other direction. But I specifically wanted one that was facing going towards Vancouver. So I was scrolling through and I was just checking out which ones here to choose and I saw this one right here. And then what made it even easier is that you see this little uh, pattern here. When you see this on a photo, it means that there's no background. It's a transparent background and it's literally just the car. That's ideally what you want so that you just have the car because if I chose something like this, I would have this entire image with the background and everything and I don't want that. I just want the car. So this one was perfect here. Make sure you find a picture of a transparent background so that it looks like the car is actually moving. So after I downloaded those two images, I imported them here into the media bin and then we started the animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here and I'm going to start from scratch and show you guys what I did. So I took this, I placed it on here. It didn't fit with the dimensions, so I stretched it out and sort of gave it like a little bit more of a zoom in effect. Something like this. And then I grabbed the Dodge Caravan picture and I plopped that down. And then I sized this accordingly as well, so I made it small. Let's see how, yeah, I made it pretty small. You can vary the sizes, but I wanted to make it small to look like it's actually traveling because it is quite a distance to go from here to here. So I make it that size and then I wanted this clip to be about 10 seconds long. So I right click, go to duration, and because I want it to be exact, I just went and did 10. You can stretch it out if you want as well, but I, if I want something to be exact, I usually use the duration thing. So I just stretched that out. So these are now both 10 seconds long. 
then I placed this one at the starting point which was in Toronto but I wanted a little bit more of an angling going on so you can see here that the car is starting off at an angle I'll just play it here and it's going up and then it goes straight and then it gets to this point right here and then it goes a little bit up again so those are all done in custom animations because if you just have it going straight right if you just did a regular animation it would kind of just go through the lakes and then boom kind of show up there but I wanted to show a little bit more of a dynamic range with the traveling make it look a little bit cooler so with starting off I angled this and to ang to switch the rotation you want to find the green uh, circle here that means rotation the center one is literally just moving it and then off to the right is the angling thing this the rotation so I'm gonna rotate it to oops can get a little bit crazy here uh, there we go and then we'll just place it down here so this is how I want it to start off and then I want it to go up here and then go straight and then go like that so what you want to do is place the cursor where you want this to initially start so let's say right here head over to animations and then you want to go to the animations tab again so you might be on the zoom and tab zoom and pan tab you want to go animations oops animations then animations again now each movement is a custom animation so the first one I'm gonna take custom animation I'm gonna drag it down here and then I'm going to move to the first movement that I want so I want it right here now another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline so I can see things a little bit more spaced out so you can see the first movement I'll just press play is like that okay so we can stretch this out we can make this a little bit longer if we want and then we press play and then it starts and then it's just right now at that point all right so let's head over to the custom animations and then drag that down again and I'm gonna place it right after this first arrow I'm going to slide it along until I can't anymore and you can see here that it just stops so from here I want to uh, change the rotation again make the car go a little bit more straight and then move it forward to about here and then I will stretch that out a little bit and let's play it again see what it looks like there you go that looks good so now I'm gonna bring it back to here go back grab a custom animation again drop it down until you can't I'm gonna move it to the left until you can't anymore and there you go and then now I'm gonna bring this towards Alberta right there and then I'm gonna stretch that one out a little bit longer because to go from Ontario to Alberta is a little bit longer so I want that one to stretch out a bit more and then we will play it and then there you go we get to Alberta and now the last part here is home finish line here Vancouver so I'm gonna go again to the custom animation drag it down here and then I'm going to switch the angle back up slightly because it does a little bit of a curve and then we're gonna land it here I'm gonna actually do a little bit more of a curve land it over here just above Vancouver and we'll stretch that out and we can maybe move things over we'll move everything a little bit over and then let's see how that looks and then we can tweak from there so press play here we go driving along there we go and then we angle it up to Vancouver and then there you go that was the animation 
the advanced animation technique with the custom animation. And as you can see, if you're doing like a travel video, it's a pretty cool feature. And it shows, it's kind of like, you know, the car's actually driving across. So this is a great little technique to add to your videos. You can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be with a map and a car. You can do it with anything, any two kind of pictures. Just make sure to have a background picture. This, in this case, it was the map and then the Dodge Caravan with the transparency. Like I could have done this with a plane. I could have done it with a hot air balloon, like whatever you want. So I highly recommend trying this out in your projects. If you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get two months free access to down in the description below. There's over 70 lectures and if you wanna fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.